Balloons and Ryder on the left, taking out all these defenses. We're going to have to finish on the Monolith, but he might get through it. If the Dragon Rider's healthy, he's got a chance here. Is the Monolith low? It is very low. King, Minions. Oh, the Balloons get caught. No, the Seeking Air Mine. Dragon Rider goes down, bro. No way, it's a defense. Minions go for the CC building first. 14 seconds on the clock. Balloon. One balloon and a dream. One balloon and a and a dream. Navi versus Empire Gaming. The first attack is in. Oh gosh, I didn't miss the opener. You did. Gaku doing a super archer blimp. Look, you can see the archers over here. Blowing up the base. It's a boxy base. He did use his warden to help the super archers. He's going for that town hall. One more invis. He gets the town hall. He's not going to get this multi on the right, is he? Oh, he's not. That's a little awkward. I think I had game sounds off. I can fix it. Give me one second. Boom. We're back. I swear I'm not a noob streamer, but I'm definitely a noob streamer. Archer on the right side of the base to pull the CC troops on over. There's the queen as well. Ice golems and rocket balloons making their way over to that queen. We got no more spell support. There is a lot of base left. I'm not sure if those super archers got enough. I think they needed to get at least this multi. Maybe more. Maybe more. Minion up top. King to go inside the 3 o'clock wall section. Ice golem with the queen. Going to go toward the enemy barbarian king. Is that queen going to go inside the walls? Oh, she is. That's a little awkward. But, I mean, we have a gap on the bottom side, so not that awkward. Finish off the champion. Tee. And then we make our way over to the enemy king. We're going to have to finish him off. <laughs> nice. Champions into the core to try and fix the pathing. Diggy going to stun the multi. King popping ability. A lot of Teslas. A lot of Skelly Traps. Tornado Trap. We start the Lalo. No Grand Warden to help assist. Champion has her ability. Rage Tower going off on defense. Expo is going to be doing double damage. Multi Inferno as well as the Scatter Shot. That Scatter Shot one shots balloons when it's raged up. RC pops ability. Queen picks up the lower multi. She still has ability. She's looking good. Remember, no spell support. Champion goes down. Lalo fizzles out. Queen goes to ability. Gaku not going to be able to get it done here. First attack for Navi. Not going to pull through. It's a defense for Empire Gaming, and the Empire might just have a chance here. Let's see if they can come out with some solid attacks today and give us a good show. Who do they got in the lineup today? They got Swifty, they got Smokey Bear, Anthony, Shadow, and Lucifer. Okay, 71% defense for Empire. That's a strong start for Empire. Swifty is in with the first attack for Empire. And after this attack, we'll check out how all the other teams are doing with the big scoreboard. E-Titans on this one. Zap Quake in front of the Town Hall, picks up the Rage Tower, the Expo, and wakes up the Town Hall all at once. Cool. Warden and Flame Flinger on the bottom side of the base. Baby Dragon, Sneaky Goblin, funneling on the left. Neat, neat, neat. We got the Poison Lizard with the Warden. We're sending a Sneaky. The Sneaky is really just meant to test for traps, I think. I guess it helps us get through the storage quicker. That also sets a part of the funnel. Now we should be ready to rock and roll. Right? There's the Queen. There are the E-Girls. Going in toward the Scattershot. King with Witches on the left side of the base. Zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. Flame Flinger working on that multi. Can it reach the Town Hall without the Expo touching it? Uh, It's going to be close. I want to say yes, but I'm not actually sure. Here come CC troops. Rage of E-Titans are going to kill the CC troops so fast, though. That's the good thing about E-Titans. King on the left with the Witches still looking good, but we got to go to his ability a little bit early. Tesla pops on the left. Queen's got a sidestep for that. The Expo does not get the Town Hall. Uh-oh. Wait, did I say the Expo? Bro, the Flame Flinger. I can't English. And there's a Tornado. Yetis. Oh, he might be in trouble. Pops Warren ability. Jumps. Rages through the core of the base. He's got no more spells. Has to send Champion just to save the two-star at this point. Swifty might be in trouble. Unless Queen somehow takes the jump to go get it. She could. He's going to go ahead and send the champion, though. I think I would have been a little patient to see if Queen goes for it. Does she? We pop ability. She gets the expo. No, she doesn't anyway. Okay, so it was the right call. RC gets the town hall. Question is, can he get better percent than Gaku? Gaku got 71. 
His champion gets absolutely wrecked over here. His queen also getting wrecked by the scattershot. The witch is still trying to get some more value. He does pick up 72%. Empire Gaming gonna be on top by a couple of buildings. But we're basically all tied up. This is anybody's match. Wizard minions on the right side of the base. The champion does not pick up the archer tower. Can the wall breaker kill it with the explosion damage? Almost. Minion, go get it. Go get it. Get the archer tower. No, it's on one HP. Rip. Archer tower OP stays up. Healers on the witches on the left don't get much. It's an 80% attack. And while we wait for the next hit to go through, let's quickly jump over to this view right here and see all eight matches are happening at the exact same time. Our Na'vi match is in the bottom left corner, but let's start over here on the left. Strut, open up with a triple from Rigo Torres, the newest member of Strut. Nicely done. They're in the lead up there. Over there, we got Entropy versus Deep Blue. Entropy opening up with a triple. Bad Zinger versus Alex Seed. Bad Zinger has it one triple and one fail. Alex Seed could tie it up. Class Champs open up with a 99% from P. Castro. Might have been a time fill, but ATS Clashers can catch or can take the lead, actually. Tribe open up with a fail. Stefan only with a 91%, but Inquisition with one building less. We're basically all tied up over there. Chasmac GS with a fail and VN Esporting take advantage of it. Get a triple to open it up from Danny. And down here, Chasmac EA opening with a 99% as well. And Knight Riders 2 take advantage of that by hitting a triple right away. ATS Clashers, we just got another stat come through. They got a triple, so they take the lead over Clash Champs. Bernal is in. With what in the 23 rocket balloons is this, bro? <laughs> He's trying to steal the thumbnail from Klaus today. Let's see if he can do it. Early Warden Blimp. Oh, that blimp's soaring all the way across the map. He's got clone spells. Is it Super Archers? Rage. Invis. Super Archers indeed with the clone spell. He dropped the Rage so early, but it's okay because he brought a second Rage. Expecting the first one to expire. There goes the second rage. I wish he would stop making that lower multi invisible. There we go. No, he still made it invisible. Rip. Last invis. Don't make that multi invisible, dude. They haven't even started shooting the town hall and that's his last invis spell. Please. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, wow. Just in time. They get the town hall. <laughs> that was close. It wasn't close. It was definitely close, but the town hall drops. Warden's still getting some value here on the bottom side of the base, but if he gets in range of the scatter shot, he might get targeted. The owl gets locked on to first. King and Ice Golem walking to the right. We send Queen. We send Champion. Gonna get through that Tesla farm. The Eagle's gonna stay up. Which could be a little awkward. Champion goes straight into like 14 skelly traps. Oh gosh. Diggy stuns the scatter. Thank goodness. The Eagle shooting the E Titan. We're gonna send three rocket balloons. Snipe the Expo. And they're gonna get the Eagle. Oh, I like that. I like this. Instead of a Lalo to work with the uh, the hero Sui, since you're using every single spell for the super archers, why not just bring rocket balloons instead of Lalo without Warden? I think this actually might be better. Yeah. Hey, all you guys out there doing super archer blimps and you're using every single spell on your super archer blimp, I think you should actually consider this. Rocket balloons might be a better alternative to just a naked Lalo without Warden ability anyway. Let's see if it works out. I might be calling this too early. Couple more balloons on the left side. Can we get pathing to that air defense? Oh, he's just spamming him in. That's a little too spammy. I don't know if that's gonna work. One more gets the air defense. Queen still needs to fight the champion. We still have the scatter shot that we have to get through. 45 seconds on the clock. Minions on the top side to help out. <sighs> uh, not having the Lava Hound to tank does make a difference. So maybe it's a little base dependent on when the rocket balloons are better. But if Queen takes out the champion, I think this still triples if he has time. Queen takes the champion. Now we use the last couple of balloons going toward the scatter. We just got to get into that scatter, man. Can he do it? Sends one balloon from the bottom. Send the other one. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? We pop Queen ability. She's going for a corner wall. What are you waiting for? He's got one more balloon, sends it for the mortar. Queen through the wall, picks up the scatter. We get the two buildings on the top side and it's a triple for Bernal getting Na'Vi the lead over Empire Gaming. Nice hit. Shadow is in with an early Yeti bomb with a rage going for the Eagle. Do they even get the Eagle? The Yeti might kind of going the other way. Headhunter's forcing an early Queen ability. He barely gets the Eagle, doesn't get the Monolith. 
Not sure if this Yeti Bomb got everything he wanted. Raging the Queen also, that was a complete waste of a rage. There is zero damage on her right now. Rip. King out in front, he's taking the damage from the scatter from the Tesla. The Queen has no damage. That, unfortunately, he already used her ability and he wasted that second rage. Does King even get through the scatter? Lots of Tesla traps distracting him. Queen picks up the Tesla. King does get the scatter thanks to that Phoenix. We wall break the junction, but Queen is doing Queen things. What? <laughs> oh, bro, your Queen is throwing hard. But the junction wall break, she still might go where we need her to. Go inside, Queen. Go inside. She still goes inside. Let's go. The rage was kind of late. Oh, she's okay. She's okay. Picks up the multi. Picks up the sweeper. We send the Lalo from the southern side of the base. She's going back around. But the Yeti Bomb not getting the monolith has consequences now. We got to go with the invis. We nail it. She can get the CC. And look at this base building error. I think she can get the multi as well. But the monolith is there. The monolith says, bye-bye, nerd. Down goes the Queen. We got to get through the town hall. I think that multi's reachable, right? Call me crazy, but I think it is. Where are my base building experts? That multi was reachable from where she was standing, right? I think it is. I don't know. I could be crazy. We pop ward ability. We actually got a healer swap to the champion. Does this still have a chance? Maybe I'm crazy and it's not reachable. I don't know. I think it is, bro. I think it is. Wall breakers on the left. These balloons are getting absolutely bamboozled. Absolutely bamboozled. Diggy tries to stun, but there's another two skelly traps. It's all up to the warden. Warden gonna get clapped here. Minions on the left. Minions on the top. We're going for percent. Shadow not gonna be able to get it done for his team. Empire Gaming with another fail, and Navi officially have the lead. Five stars to four. And let's go check out the stats from some of the other teams while we wait for the next hit. Over in the top left, Entropy looking really strong. Two triples and two fails on the other side. Bad Zinger with another fail. All Exceed could take the lead here with their next hit. Clash Champs over in the top right with a second 99% attack. Oof. Rip. Clash Champs might be in trouble. Tribe Gaming with a 99% attack from the spell soup god himself, Rakiras. Rip the homie. Rip the homie. Chazmac GS with a second fail as well. VN Esporting hit a second triple. They're looking like they might just take GS out. And down here, we got a tied matchup. Chazmac EA versus Knight Riders 2. Both teams with a triple. Chazmac EA way up on percent. This war we are watching. Strut have a triple. Maybe a time fail as well. But they got two defenses. So they're still looking good over there. <clears throat> Kazuma is in. With some Queen charge, Lalo with a chance to give Navi a big lead if he hits another triple. Queen starting on the south side of the base here. We're going to wall break to that dead zone on the left. We're being patient with this first rage spell. Kazuma knows what he's doing. He knows he doesn't have to drop it too early. Now he drops it. Get Queen back up to full health right as she's about to engage the enemy Queen. Perfect timing from Kazuma. He's so efficient with his spells. Queen takes the Queen, takes the storage. Ooh, I don't think he expected that, though. He dropped this wall breaker because I think he wanted her to go left and target that scatter, but she dips out and goes to the right. He might have to change the plan on the fly now. He's got three more wall breakers. Yeah, this definitely wasn't the plan. Pops the king ability, uses the king quickly to help push the queen. At least we can send her into the town hall, get some other value that way. But this wasn't the plan. Oh, the monolith hits her even though he drops the invis, forces the queen ability. Can he recover? Rage spell on the queen. CC troops coming out. We decide to go with the freeze. Want the town hall down before she switches targets to the rocket balloons. Nicely done with the freeze spell there. Timing ends up being better because of it. We're going to send a stone slammer to go take out that scatter shot and start the Lalo into the left side of the base as well. Okay. Queen getting hit by the eagle. Is he not going to use any more spells to keep her alive? Oh, he might let her die. Oh, he is going to keep her alive. Invis at the last second. He has a bat spell he's going to use to distract this monolith, but the multi... Might do a lot of damage to those bats. He decides to rage up the queen again, but the monolith locks on and she gets sent to the shadow realm. We still got a champion. We're going to send her. No, we send headhunters. They pull the healers. We still got a champion. Honestly, it's probably worth just letting the healers go to the champion. I would send the, the champion from an angle where the healers can stay alive. 
but he doesn't think so. He's going to send Champion from the other side of the base. Healers are on the Headhunters right now. If he sent the Champion with the Lalo, the Healers could have stayed on her and maybe stayed alive. And I... Uh, I don't know. It's debatable. I think it could have potentially tripled if he did that. Nah, maybe not. Well, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Because he still almost gets through it, man. Warden on 1 HP. Still has the Diggy trying to stun defenses. Still has the Dragon Rider, but the Dragon Rider's low. Scattershot going to get the best of us here? Unless Diggy stuns it. We get through the scatter. He almost saved it. Almost saved it. Nice try to Kazuma. But it is a defense for Smokey Bear. We get through the Expo. We're running out of time here. Decent percent. Almost picked up 90. Falls short at 87. Anthony is in with the next hit for Empire Gaming. Battle Blimp, Rage, Rage the Queen. Was that needed? Yeah, maybe it was. Raged up the Yeti Bomb. They need to pick up the Scatter. They're distracted by Skellies. Queen steps into that other Rage as well. Helps to take out the enemy Queen. The plan is going to plan. It's just kind of unfortunate we already had to use two Rages, like, literally right away. Oh, Warden with the Queen. Bro, you need a Poison. You need a Poison really badly. Oh, my gosh. Oh! She's okay? No way! Woo! If he didn't drop the Warden with the Queen there, she would have gone to ability, but he saved it. He's going with the Bowlers in for the rest of the attack. We got a Skeleton Spell. We got a Wall Breaker. Where's the King gonna go? Where's the King gonna go? That Wall Breaker didn't make it far enough, did it? Uh, maybe if we're trying to go all the way to the top side Scattershot, and then he's gonna drop the King way up there. Okay, so this is the plan. This is the plan. We pop the Hound. This is the main reason why I like E-Titans better than Bowlers. The E-Titans would have shredded through that Hound in like 0.069 seconds. The Bowlers just completely ignore it, and then the Queen gets stuck on the Hound for like 17.38 seconds. Now the Queen doing what Queens do best, being an absolute dummy and shooting a wall, while the Poison Lizard snipes the Monolith. Yo, what the? Bowlers are all dead. Queen decides to switch to a different wall. And we still gotta get the town hall! Oh, this homie's in big trouble. This homie's in big trouble. Queen can't even reach the multi from that spot. She's gonna skip it. Healers are all gonna die. Warden's gonna die. He has to find a way to send champion for the town hall, but also wait for the rage tower to expire. So you don't have all that double damage against your champion. You gotta try to send her to the Builder Huts. You do have one freeze. You got the Diggy. But there's two Expos. I'm not sure if he gets it. I don't think he does. You can for Oh, he sent... Where does he... Where did he... This might work out. Diggy can stun the Expo, and then he only has one Expo on the backside. But if he doesn't have Diggy to stun the Town Hall, he doesn't. Diggy dies. Oh, I think he should have froze earlier to keep the Diggy alive. He doesn't. I don't think he gets it either way. Oh. And then he force quits out of frustration. Oh. The eighty percent. Rip Anthony. Rip Anthony. Stars is in. With two Hounds, 19 Balloons, three Dragon Riders, one E-Titan. Okay. Hound Blimp. We got two clones. We got Invis. Is it Super Archers? Yes. Invis. Clone, clone, Invis. Rage. Invis, Invis Tower behind the town hall, went off, but it expires. Next Invis. We pick up the multi on the left. One more Invis. We get the town hall. Can we get that multi on the right? One more Invis. We are officially out of spells. We don't pick up the multi on the right. We don't pick up the Invis Tower. Okay. Queen on the bottom side of the base. Can she pick up that Archer Tower before locking on to CC troops? We drop the E-Titan to help. This Headhunter doing a lot of damage. The Cannon doing a lot of damage. Queen goes to ability early. Oh, uh, I think he misplayed that CC kill a little bit. Rip the Queen ability. No spells for later. Remember, we do still have the Grand Warden. 
to help with this, uh, the rest of the attack. I don't even know if I can call it a law low, bro. So we got three Dragon Riders. That really feels like the main force. It's going to be a baby Lalo just to help support the Dragon Rider push. Champion's in on the right side. Queen going for an expo. She picks it up. Now we got to fight the King. We send a Headhunter. Is one Headhunter going to be enough there? I think so. Queen should stay alive. Champion through the right. Two Dragon Riders. Warden some balloons. We're going to send Headhunters in the Warden ability. We got Poison Lizard with the Warden. We send the Hound. We send two Headhunters. We send another Dragon Rider. Champion going for the Multi. Queen wrapping around for the Invis Tower. Champion fighting Champion. We can get everybody in this juicy Warden ability. Invis Tower goes off again. Monolith distracted by Dragon Riders. Queen doing derpy Queen things as usual. <laughs> that Queen. Oh gosh. Can we get the Monolith down? We got no spells. Monolith kills one Dragon Rider. Monolith kills a second Dragon Rider. We got a balloon trying to sneak in. The Monolith is low. Queen going for the CC building. At least she distracted the Monolith while the balloon sneaks in. Tries to take out the Monolith. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. No, Monolith stays up. We lost our champion. Balloon's moving in for the scatter. Warden gets targeted by the Monolith next. Warden goes down. The Monolith killing everything. Balloons and Rider on the left taking out all these defenses. We're going to have to finish on the Monolith, but he might get through it. If the Dragon Rider's healthy, he's got a chance here. Is the Monolith low? It is. Very low. King. Minions. Oh, the balloons get caught. No, the Seeking Air Mine. Dragon Rider goes down. Bro, no way. It's a defense. Minions go for the CC building first. 14 seconds on the clock. Balloon. One balloon and a dream. One balloon and a, and a dream. No. Oh. <laughs> One monolith. To save the day for Empire Rip Stars, bro. That monolith. Oh my gosh. 98% Lucifer is in for Empire Gaming with some Lalo. Are we going with an early Warden Blimp? I think we are. Is it Super Archers? I don't think it is. He's got no clone spell. Oh, hello, bait. Tornado. Spinning us in circles. We got that warden ability though. Two more seeking air mines. Oh, that warden ability lasted just long enough to not take damage from those other two seeking air mines as well. He gets over the wall on Bernal's base. It's a blizz. He's blowing up the core of the base. His warden got bamboozled by these headhunters. One more invis. He picks up both multis. Can he even get the sweepers as well? He gets the invis tower to go off early. He picks up the CC building does not get the sweepers. A triple here from Empire actually puts them back in the match, but they're still gonna have to get a defense versus Klaus. Queen and E-Titan kill the Hound on the top side. King gonna walk inside the 12 o'clock compartment, set up the pathing for Queen to take the town hall. King might even be able to take out the champion as long as she hops the wall in the right spot. We try to help wall break for the king, but the wall breaker targets a funny wall. Pop king ability. It actually does hit a junction, though. Queen fighting the king with a headhunter. She gets through it. Couple balloons on the left. Champions in for the scatter shot. Remember, no warden to help with the Lalo, but we do have six freezes still to go. He's going to have to freeze the invis. Pop queen ability. Let her take the town hall. Which side do we Lalo from? Champions should clear everything on the right side of the base. We send the Lalo from the bottom. We've got a lot of freezes. We've got two haste to work with. This might just work out for Lucifer. Champion. Oh, do we even freeze to keep the champion alive? That might be worth it. Maybe it's not. No, he's going to let her die. Save all the freezes for the Lalo. we got to get through the Queen. we got to get through the Tesla farm. We get through the scatter shot pretty quickly. He's going to start freezing up. Sending three headhunters. Go with another freeze. He hastes. Doesn't even need the freeze. Oh my gosh, this is wreck. Bro, he has four freezes in his pocket. He's got four freezes in his pocket, and he's going to swag them all. Lucifer with the Warden Blizz Lalo getting it done for Empire Gaming. Are we going to see the swag? Minions Wizard on the right side of the base. 40 seconds for cleanup. The base is destroyed. Absolutely deleted. Empire Gaming are back in this match if Klaus doesn't triple. I think it actually depends on what percent he gets. Klaus doesn't even need to triple. He just needs to hit a certain percent. But Empire have a chance. But let's go take a look at some of the other matches and see how they're doing. Starting over here on the left. Strut 
fill up with a fail, but they also get another defense. So they have the lead going into the last round of attacks. Entropy with a 91, but they've got four defenses. That match is over. Entropy moving on to the next round. Bad Zinger versus All Exceed. Did ba Bad Zinger? Bad Zinger have a triple, but they finished with 10 stars, which means they also got a one star. All Exceed have also 10 stars, but they still have another attack. Okay, rip bad zinger. They're going home today. Clash Champs with a fourth fail. Unfortunate, but ATS Clashers, as long as they two-star out, they will win that match. Tribe Gaming finally hit a triple. Knowledge carrying the team today. We're all tied up going into the last round of attacks over there. Anybody can win that one still. VN Esporting versus Chasmac GS. As long as VN Esporting get a high percent two-star, I think they're looking good. It actually depends. Anything could still happen over there. Chasmac EA with the lead, 10 to nine, going into the last round of attacks, and they hit a triple. They win the match, 13 stars. Knight Riders 2 cannot catch up. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Klaus Nose is in with some Eat Titans today. Okay. No zap spells either. One jump, four rages on this E Titan hit. And we're not even doing a warden walk either. He's gonna start with a queen walk on the top side of the base. One wizard to funnel. He's got a flame flinger currently activated. Healers are on the queen. Still has yet to deploy that flame flinger. Queen steps left, flame flingers in toward the right. Early rage on the queen as the warden and the expo lock onto her. Giant and Yeti trying to distract this mortar. So the flame flinger can sneak in there, I guess. Down goes the cannon. Queen dealing with skelly traps. Flame flinger going for the mortar. That yeti still distracting the mortar. So nicely done there from Klaus. Also, we find a Tesla on the right. Flame flinger needs to hurry up or else it's going to take at least one shot of damage from the mortar. Queen gets the builder hut. Rage tower goes off on defense. King has been deployed from the nine o'clock side of the base. Flame flinger gets the mortar down. Expo's doing double damage. We're sending the E-girls. Here we go. Wall break is in toward... The bomb tower, but it was late. This wall break is late. The E-Titans are all walking. Uh-oh, that might have been a misplay. I think he needed the wall breaker earlier. Queen all by herself as the healer swap as well. Queen has to go to ability. Rocket balloons are on top of her. Rocket balloons kill her through the ability. Klaus is in trouble. If he doesn't get a high percent here, Empire Gaming can still win. And he needs a two-star too. It might not be easy. Uh-oh. E-Titans are all stuck over here. He's got the jump spell. He's got a couple of rages and freezes. He needs to secure the two-star right now. All the healers are dying. He already used the warden ability way earlier. He's got the king ability still to work with. Town Hall's awake. Klaus, you need to secure this two-star, buddy. There's the king ability. There's the skeleton spell. Where are we going to send champion? Where are we going to send champion? We got to just go for the town hall. He rages the king, the balloons, freezes the town hall, poison tower together. Where's the champion? Am I blind? She's behind the king. I am blind. He already sent her. Rages again. Still has two freezes. He should be able to save it. Freeze spell is in. Town hall before the hound distracts us. Get the town hall before the hound distracts. Ooh, just in time. Ooh, that was scary. Does he have the percent to guarantee the win? If he's above 96.8, the answer is yes. When they're at, uh, when I count the total destruction. I think he got it. I could be wrong. He has to be, they have to be above 96.8. Or 86.8. 86.8. He got it by one building. He had to get above 86.8 and they got 87. <laughs> Navi win. If Empire Gaming triple, Navi win by one building. And Smokey Bear is in with more E Titans. Here we go. Warden on the right side of the base with the healers. Warden going to set a funnel. While the Warden does his funnel, should we check some of the other stats? Warden just doing a funnel for like 20 or 30 seconds. Entropy with the win. They're moving on to the next round. All Exceed with the win. They're moving on to the next round. ATS, unless the last guy doesn't show up, they win. Inquisition, finish with a fail on their last attack. Tribe Gaming, have a chance to win that match. Chasmac GS versus VN Esporting. 
Chasmac GS got the win? Bro, V and Esporting were winning the whole time. Rip Chasmac GS. Uh-oh, we'll check the rest after this, but here we go. Flame Flinger is in. I meant Rip V and Esporting. Chasmac GS with the comeback. Smoky Bear still letting his warden do the thing. Warden gonna pick up the expo. Flame Flinger's meant to get the town hall, but there's a lot of Teslas that's gonna stall some time off the Flame Flinger, and there's also an Invis Tower behind the town hall. So I'm a little worried for him. Decides to freeze the expo for the Warden. He's gonna smash through the jump spell here. You can see the plan kind of shaping up, but I'm a little worried about that town hall. King on the top side, E-Girls are in. Okay. Oh, I guess the Town Hall is reachable from the Queen once he gets into the Monolith compartment, so maybe he's not even expecting the Flinger to take the Town Hall. I guess. <clears throat> There's the Rage Spell, Triple Ice Golem CC. Not that big of a deal. We got a Warden ability to keep him alive for a while. Did he lose a bunch of healers there? I think he did. He's only got like two left. Traps kill a bunch of healers. Rage Tower going off on defense. He still has the Warden ability. He's being patient. Might be worth it soon. There's the next Rage. There's the Warden ability. Everybody invincible for now. Flame Flinger did pick up the Inferno Tower. It's going for the Bomb Tower, but hello, Traps. Invis Tower goes off. Queen walking up. I know we said the Town Hall is reachable for the Queen, but only if she actually goes to it. Here's a Freeze on the Town Hall. We got no more spell support. RC is in on the left side of the base. Queen goes for the Town Hall. Inside the Rage spell, she will take it out. Town Hall secured. Can he get this triple? King goes down. Phoenix brings him back to life on the left side of the base for a couple more seconds. No spell support, but we do have the champion ability. He might just pull through here. 30 seconds on the clock. Time is looking like the biggest issue. Can we get through it in time? Yes or no? We got the Phoenix and a wizard doing cleanup on the left side of the base. 22 seconds. We're stuck on the king. Another skelly trap pops. That's going to stall us up for yet a, a few more seconds. No, the E-Titans one-shot all the Skellies. Champion still has her ability. He might pull through. And that's kind of heartbreaking for Empire Gaming. They're going to lose. After getting a one-star attack, they're going to lose by one building. This is a triple. And we look at the results. 11 to 11. And Na'Vi literally win by one building. 87%. To 86.8. Nice try, Empire. But we're seeing Navi in the next round.